We're starting out here at this historic auto attractions. We have some famous cars here I'd like to check out. Days with Jordan the Lion and you all, it begins right now. Let's take a journey through time. Wow, look at that. The old US mail coach. Yeah, we will be seeing some famous, some celebrity cars here. It says this hearse was built in 1860. Wow. Elvis. One of Elvis's cars, they actually have a picture of him in the car. And then his last will and testament is over here on the wall. Look at all that. Him meeting Nixon. That is pretty cool. 1972 Lincoln Mark IV. It says Elvis purchased many cars over his lifetime. Gifted many of them. It was a uh, Elvis's practice to rarely register his vehicles in his personal name, but this car was different. A highly documented car. He bought this car for himself. The car, together with sheriff's office original title documents with his name and address, and a photo of Elvis with his girlfriend and bodyguard original bill of sale, and other documents provide authenticity for this vehicle. Used to drive this around Memphis and Los Angeles. Wow. I love seeing Elvis memorabilia, especially Elvis's cars. He had, like I said, he had so many, he gifted so many to people. But wow, that is cool. He's actually in that car right there. A piece of James Dean's crashed spider. Wow. Scott Michaels would be losing his mind right now. If that really is what that says that is. Here's an article about it. This is incredible. Look at that. They have the actual Laurel and Hardy car from the movie Big Business. 1925 Model T Roadster pickup. <laughs> That is so freaking cool. I love Laurel and Hardy. You almost never see stuff like that. There they are pictured in it, right there, in the movie. That's awesome. Now we're gonna go see the cars of the world leaders. So that is Evita's car, Eva Perone. Evita and Juan Perone presidential limousine. Look at that. The opening right there in the driver's section. Very neat. And then the next car it says Princess Diana's. One of the motorcade cars that's shown here it says the fleet of Daimler straight eights for the royal tour photographed in the grounds of historic Stonely Abbey Warwickshire just prior to shipment to South Africa and they have a little figure of her here they have Joseph Stalin's car 1937 armored Packard armored limousine with pictures of him getting out of it wow what history here this is incredible look at that wow here he is exiting it that is the vehicle of king george the sixth Queen Elizabeth's father. The one with the speech problem when they made the movie about. And that is the car of the King of Siam. Now I think the American stuff is back here. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> this was Ulysses S. Grant's 1865 Studebaker Landau carriage. 
and it says he has the unique distinction of being, uh, well, at the time, being the only president arrested during his term in office. He was arrested for speeding by a policeman that uh, didn't recognize him, but he paid the $20 fine. And here are a ton of wax figures and vehicles over here. That was the burial carriage of President McKinley. This was Franklin D. Roosevelt's car built especially for his needs. President Trump's 2008 Lincoln Town Car, and they have a picture of him getting out of it. Harry Truman's limousine, which he raised the roof, it says, by seven inches to accommodate passengers wearing top hats. This was Calvin Coolidge's car delivered to him when he was still vice president in May 1923. This became part of the motor pool when he became president. And over here, they have Richard Nixon's limousine with a creepy figure of him in it. It's 1969 Lincoln Lehman Peterson limousine. Tricky Dick. The 1955 Cadillac of Dwight D. Eisenhower. His presidential limousine. President Lyndon B. Johnson's Fleetwood limousine. And this belonged to Herbert Hoover. Not a great president, but Pretty cool car. 1932 Imperial Limousine. Cadillac Imperial Limousine. This says this was also President Eisenhower's limousine. And then right beyond, right behind it, again also, was father of Jacqueline Kennedy, John Bouvier III. This was his car. So, father of the first lady. This was Lyndon Johnson's personal limousine. And Jimmy Carter's. As well as Franklin Delano Roosevelt's Secret Service car. Say, so this is John Dillinger's. Bank getaway car from October 1933 police arsenal robbery. Here they have a Capone distribution truck and they have the doors for the Lexington Hotel vault, which was his office in downtown Chicago was in there. So that's kind of interesting to see the vault doors. Here's a gangster truck with holes from Tommy guns used to shoot out. This room is all unique creations. <laughs> You'll have to come look at this for yourself because there's just way too many interesting things like, yeah, that's made out of a wheelbarrow. The bumper car, come on, made out of all bumpers. That's a car completely coated in money. That is mostly all pennies. A bicentennial coin car. Mario Andretti's race car. Wow, look at that Bigfoot. That thing is huge. Touches the ceiling. <sighs> 10 feet tall tires used on a 15 foot tall Bigfoot truck. The first Ford to climb Pikes Peak. July 1st, 1916. Okay. Here they have a display of the racing suits of Dale Earnhardt and Dale Earnhardt Jr. Wow, that is Richard Pe 
Petty's race car from 1960. <sighs> How cool is that, man? They don't call him the king for nothing. That is neat. Look at that. There he is in 1960 with the car. That was his first of 200 NASCAR Premier Race wins. So this is a winner. Then there he is. Outside his shop with it before it came here. That's pretty rad. This was the Franklin Airman of 1928 and they advertised it. A personal favorite of Charles Lindbergh. Here they're talking about a car that they buried in the ground as a time capsule. In 1957 it was a Plymouth Belvedere, the height of the Cold War. The shrink wrap car was lowered into its tomb. The yeah, they actually built a tomb for it and everything, a grave. And guess what? Guess where it is now? <laughs> that is neat. They have photos of the whole unearthing of it and everything here. You can see them digging it out. It says a large number of items were placed inside the trunk and glove box of Miss Belvedere. Partial list of items, case of motor oil, case of Schlitz beer, and items that were considered typical contents of a woman's purse. They said when they did it, it was all planned to be the biggest event in like the city's history when they unearthed it. And here they are lowering it in when they were burying it. One of my favorite stories involves him being thrown into the mix, his name. It's a story when George Jones went out to Waylon Jennings' house drunk and Waylon's wife's mother was there. So it was Waylon's mother-in-law. She was real religious and George was drunk cussing up a storm. So Waylon threw him out and out on the front lawn, George took a swing at Waylon and said, you're just a Conway Twitty wannabe sounding SOB. <laughs> so Waylon tied him to a tree in the front yard for the night with a big thing of rope. Look, they got Conway's guitar up here with the CT on the pick guard. That is great. And then one of his jackets. I believe his son still performs Conway stuff. What a freaking cool car though, man. Wow. 55 number one records. And then right past it is Hugh Hefner's limo. Yeah. <laughs> you can only imagine. It's an older one too. 1967 Lincoln Continental. Used by Hugh for the Playboy Mansion. This was Howard Hughes' car. Owned by the Hughes Production Company. 1960 Cadillac Limousine. They're talking mostly over here about him creating the Spruce Goose. Which was that big plane that could pretty much do everything. And there he is. Wow. Chariot used in Ben-Hur. Wow. Todd Fisher would love that. He'd love seeing that, I bet. We can get every angle of it, too. Oh, boy. Colonel Sanders' car. That looks exactly like what you would expect Colonel Sanders to have, doesn't it? Kind of. <laughs> Does me. Here's his initials. CS. Colonel Sanders' car and one of his classic white suits from the 50s. Head to toe. Might even be the same one from that ad. With one of his canes. And then just past the car, looks like they have one of his little pressure cookers. Oh, similar one to this one. Now this says this was a Boot Victorian carriage built by the Wood Brothers in 1864. It transported President Lincoln and his wife Mary Todd on that fateful trip to Ford's Theater. April 14th, 
1865. That's the one. The one. The one that Abraham Lincoln would have taken his last living ride in. Over here they have Emperor Hirohito's car. Nikita Khrushchev's car. Adolf Hitler's car. Wow, I've seen one before. Wow, that's crazy. And it says this would have been Heinrich Himmler's car. And then this car was used to transport the dictator of Italy, Benito Mussolini, around. Wow, over here they have the getaway car, the 1962 checkered marathon Dallas taxi cab known as the getaway car for Lee Harvey Oswald. Whoa! I had no idea this was here. And this was John F. Kennedy's 1962 Lincoln convertible. They have several pictures up here of him in it that he used during the Cuban Missile Crisis. And then over here, they have, this was known as the Queen Mary II. This was the Secret Service vehicle behind John F. Kennedy. Now they're claiming over here, it looks like that this is the assassination Oh, okay, this is a recreation. Okay, I was gonna say the the original is the one I saw in the Henry Ford Museum also in Michigan. And then also involved, three shots were fired at President Kennedy. And they would have taken that. This was there. They have footage right there. Wow, they even have the back open that you can look in. <sighs> and then over here, Lee Harvey Oswald's wedding suit. That's pictured there. The backpack that carried Ham, <laughs> the chimpanzee. There he is. What do we have in here? These are probably all replicas because I've seen the real ones most places. Batman, it's probably for the kids. TV Land Customs, check this out. I do like this. <laughs> Little Sanford and Son section right here. <laughs> that is cool. Never seen that anywhere. Original costumes donated by NBC Studios from the show, it says. Wow. That's even cooler. I wonder if all this stuff was. I wonder if all this, everything in here was donated. Because there's just junk everywhere. They have a squad car from Mayberry signed by a bunch of people over here. Betty Lynn. And then over here is one of... Barney's actual costumes it says and if you hear the music you know the car the family truckster sprayed down with honky lips <laughs> that was pretty unbelievable I came here mainly because I saw they had Conway Twitty's car and I figured they'd have some other cool ones but man was I shocked by that collection